So ever since Spider-Man 2 has released and a bunch of us have beaten and played the game, we've been talking all about what is going to happen in the third one and maybe the second Miles Morales game, etc. And I did my own predictions video on it that you can go back and check out. Um, and I cover a bunch of different stuff that I was feeling would potentially happen in a sequel to Spider-Man 2 in Spider-Man 3. Uh, in that video, uh, but there's one thing that keeps popping up that I really wanted to address and Initially, it wasn't even on my radar at all that I in no way thought that this would be Something that would even be considered um, But it's coming up again and again and the more it's been brought up the more I'm like, you know what? There's actually a lot of validity to this idea and to this rumor to this prediction. There's actually some really great evidence um and that is essentially for superior spider-man the third game is actually going to see kind of a superior spider-man story arc along with all the goblin stuff we already know but actually it'll probably be a more full longer game that does include the superior spider-man storyline and so if you don't know what the superior spider-man storyline is just real quick i'll cover it for you essentially doc ock is dying and he finds a way to kind of subvert his consciousness into peter parker's body and take over his body essentially killing peter uh the doc ock himself um, they kind of almost swap roles like Freaky Friday where Peter enters into Doc Ock's body, Peter and then Doc Ock enters into Peter's body and so they kind of swap and Doc Ock takes over his body um, but in doing so he also takes over all of Peter's memories and he realizes like all the things Peter's gone through and essentially um, gets convicted to stay as spider-man uh but instead he calls himself superior spider-man uh where he's actually gonna actually deal with crime where spider-man had all these silly rules that held him back and he held back as a person where he never actually um hit people as hard as he could or fought as hard as he could and he never would kill anybody and dark Ark's like i don't have any of these rules but i have the same convictions um now that i have peter's memories is that someone needs to do something but i'm gonna do it better than peter even did i'm gonna be the superior spider-man and so that's kind of the storyline that plays out and so people are thinking this is going to happen in the third game and so i kind of want to dive into it with you guys what are the pros that this is going to happen what are some of the cons and do i actually think they will go down the superior spider-man route in spider-man 3 let's dive into it so the first thing i want to start off with all the pros and i think the most obvious one is that doc ock clearly has a degenerative disease and he has something that's eating away at him and is making him um, and his body more and more useless to him where he can't actually function the way that he wants to function and he has this massive problem and so it's kind of a similar scenario to what was going on in the superior spider-man storyline where doc ock has this problem he wants to transfer his consciousness over to another body the best host of course would be the superpowered spider-man and so i can definitely see them going down this route um it's something that doc ock has been trying to solve for a while and maybe that the character in this video game that this is how he's decided he's going to deal with this that forget the dr octopus arms let's actually just see if we can transfer consciousness to a different body and another thing that kind of goes in a pro to this is that he talks about the final chapter now this could be a wink to how the third game is maybe the final chapter for peter and they're going to try to kill him it could be how it's the final chapter just for doc ock in general but it could be the final chapter for doc ock in the sense that he's like i'm going all in that i am actually writing the final chapter a formula for how to transfer my consciousness into spider-man into peter parker i know how i could accomplish this and i'm going to do it and this is going to be my final chapter um that's highly possible that that's what he was writing that that's what his plan was that that's the thing he's kind of cooking together and he's going to kind of use Osborne and the different people in the game to accomplish that goal because in this universe it seems like Doc Ock is Spider-Man's uh, arch villain we'll see if Osborne becomes that in the Goblin um, but it seems like in this universe Doc Ock is his arch nemesis and so I could really actually see that happening to some degree and then lastly I think the thing that's pro is I think they're sending Osborne and Doc Ock to kind of have this um, mutual agreement that's mutually beneficial where I think that Osborne is going to want revenge on Spider-Man for what happened with Harry. Um, he's going to invent the Goblin Serum. He's going to test it on himself and that's going to drive him even more crazy to go after Spider-Man and eventually find out from Doc Ock that he is Peter 
and attack him. I could see them coming up with a deal for that to happen. And then in a similar sense, the way they're going to get their revenge and maybe Doc Ock's deal is like, hey, yeah, let's get our revenge on Peter. But instead of just killing him, I actually want to swap bodies with him. So I'll let you know who Spider-Man is if you help me also accomplish this goal that I have. And we could see that superior Spider-Man storyline play out that I really think that that honestly is possible. Uh, I think that it is something that they could do that would be really interesting to see them do. Um, but with all these pros, I think there are some cons. And I think they do give me some pause on this whole theory of the Superior Spider-Man possibly happening. The first con, and the most obvious one, is that the Superior Spider-Man storyline until recently was absolutely hated by fans. That fans hated it when this thing first happened. And now comic book fans are very fickle. They usually don't like new ideas anyways. Miles Morales was absolutely hated when he first showed up and now look where he is. So it's highly possible that they could do the storyline really well and that people would receive it really well. But it is one of those things of like, if you're going into your third part of this game and it's going to be Goblin uh, really showing up versus Peter, are you going to want to cloud all of this storyline with a superior Spider-Man twist thrown in there? And that's a twist that a lot of people really hated when it initially happened. Are you sure you're going to be able to stick that landing where people are going to enjoy it? Or are people going to be furious that they swapped Doc Ock and Peter's body and now Doc Ock is Spider-Man. Like, I, I just could see so much potential backlash for them doing this that they just would decide that it's not worth it because for the comic books, it initially really hurt the comic books and had people super, super angry. And you risk running that same thing with this game. In addition to this, if they were to swap bodies, that would mean that Spider-Man 3 for a large chunk of it would probably turn into miles versus peter or like doc ock superior spider-man peter not actual peter and i just don't know why you would do that in a spider-man 3 game i know we played a lot of miles in spider-man 2 so it's not it's not out of the realm of possibilities but it really feels like if you fully take away peter's powers and you put a villain inside of his body that that really turns Spider-Man 3 into more of Miles Morales 2 or Miles Morales 3. And so it's possible. I just, that would be really interesting to see how they do it and have it. I just imagine that if they do this storyline, the game would have to be way longer than the other two um, to not make it feel weird and to do that storyline well. And so I just, I'm hesitant to think that they would actually go for that because for a large chunk of the game, it would be Miles versus Superior Spider-Man, essentially. And then the last con for me is I still really think they're doing Sinister Six, that I think that's actually what they're setting up. I think that Goblin is forming a team and that him and Doc Ock are going to work together to kind of head this team to go against Spider-Man for people to get revenge. I know a lot of people are like, oh, the Sinister Six is dead. How could they do it? If you've read the comics, the Sinister Six is constantly a revolving door of villains. It's not like there are no more Spider-Man villains who could join the Sinister Six. For example, you could have Goblin, you could have Doc Ock, you could have Sandman who's still around, you could have Mysterio actually be up to no good and that he's actually still a villain this entire time. You could have Rhino show back up and then you could have some kind of unrevealed villain who's in Miles Morales 2 show up and become a part of it. Like it really would not be hard to do Sinister Six. I really strongly feel that that's where they're headed. Is they're gonna kind of follow the ultimate Spider-Man comic book where the Sinister Six get together to try to kill Spider-Man. And whether or not they kill Spider-Man or kill Mary Jane or kills Miles Morales, somebody's gonna die that they're gonna go after to get revenge on Peter. Um, and I still really strongly feel that that is the scenario they've set up that makes sense the most. And to throw Superior Spider-Man into that storyline, I feel like would just make it more convoluted that it's a story that may you could maybe save for another game that doesn't need to be in this one. I would be shocked if they actually go that route. And so when it comes to my personal thoughts on this, I think the Superior Spider-Man storyline would be really cool. I think the only way they could do it in a way that would be satisfying is to make the game be like double the length at least um, so that you get lots of time with Peter um, both before and after he's able to get his body back and that they would be able to do it in a way that's not goofy. I also think the Superior Spider-Man storyline is very goofy in the premise to begin with, like Spider-Man and Doc Ock swapping bodies like Freaky Friday. Like when you start to talk about it out loud, it sounds really silly. Like it seems really dumb and like it doesn't make a lot of sense. And so depending on how grounded they want this universe to be, I also could see them staying away from it for that, where it could be done really goofy. But Insomniac could do it really well. Like I thought that Craven, like Craven has lots of um, potential to be a very goofy villain, and they did him really, really well. So it's not that they couldn't do it. 
I just would be really surprised if in the third game they actually go through with this, but I'm totally open to it. I think it would be a ton of fun. I think it would be crazy. I just really hope that they would do it well. But I want to know what you guys think. So head down to the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts genuinely. When you hear about this, do you think they're going to do it? What are some of the pros you see, some of the cons? Do you agree with my views on it? Do you disagree? Let's have that conversation in the comment section down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that junk. And I will see you guys in the next one.